After decades of being unidentified, a young Utah sailor killed in the Pearl Harbor attacks, now home and being laid to rest. ABC 4's Haley Hendricks and his memorial today, and she brings us the story from Delta. One last ride. We carry them in our hearts with us when we do these missions. For Navy radioman, third class Theodore Q. Jensen. He was willing at such an early age to put his life on the line and, and go to war knowing the possibility of not being able to come home. Killed in the Pearl Harbor attack of 1941. He gave his life the ultimate sacrifice. Jensen's body went unidentified for 80 years. Something I never really expected would happen, but it's nice to have some closure. But now he's home and being late to rest. Now we know he's home. I don't know, it's hard to, it's hard to explain. With full military honors. In his hometown, Delta. It's always an honor to be able to pay our respects to veterans and especially in a situation like this to bring somebody home that's been gone for so long. Jensen's final resting place is here at the Delta City Cemetery. Reporting in Delta, Haley Hendricks, ABC 4 News. Housing in high